Hello everyone! Hi guys! This is Ningu Adventures and today we are exploring the beautiful Wando Island in Wando. Wando. South Korea. This video is gonna consist of two parts and this is part one. <laughs> We just left our Airbnb apartment yeah, and we're on our way to Google Station. Yes, we have to hurry up. And then we're getting our rental copper. All right, guys, we made it on time. It is now 8.21. We, we are taking the Mugunwa to um, Busan Station. Yes, because the reason is we live in this Gupo Dom area and it's faster to take the Magumwa to Busan station than the subway. The subway will take us like 15 minutes and then this train, the Magumwa, it's about like 15 minutes, I would say. Yeah. Okay, our train is on its way. Here it comes. So we just managed to get our rental car. It's a small little Kia. So we almost thought that we're not gonna get it because they couldn't find our reservation on it. So guys, just a few tips. All right guys, so we've just made the reservation for our car. We used the site Expedia.com. Very easy, and this is where we need to pick it up at Korean Teachers Mutual Fund Boulevard, uh, Busan, Korea. Now, at first, when you just Google this, it looks like it's at City Hall, but I actually went onto Avis, Avis's website. Now, uh, you can now just go and click on Get Directions, and it'll open up the Google Maps link for you. And if you zoom in, you can see that yeah, it's just located inside Busan Station somewhere. So we'll have to. Uh, go and look for it. The Avis car rental um, office. So on the internet it says it's inside Busan station. We walked around the whole station inside out, couldn't find it. So we went and asked the information and they pointed us outside. So outside Busan station exit one, you'll just walk straight out. You'll see there's a building, it's the K building, and you'll see the SK rental car. So you won't find any Avis markings or no signs whatsoever and you will need your reservation number so very important to make a reservation if there's no reservation there's no call for you i am stressing a little bit because we don't have our arcs yet so that means we don't have korean numbers now we are just going um <laughs> on our guts we actually downloaded the map on neighbor but we're not sure if neighbor works offline yeah so, so we've started the navigation now we so are, we don't know at what no. point it's gonna stop working so yeah it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be epic an, crazy an, <laughs> <laughs> Let's so stay see. tuned Alright guys, so one of the biggest challenges for me is to, to drive or to keep the car straight and that is because my natural alignment tends to be towards the right side of the lane. That's usually where you position that but the way, you know, where I'm situated now is towards the left side of the lane. So I tend to drift over um, to get to my natural position that I'm used to and that puts half of the car into the other lane <laughs> which makes Dine a little bit anxious. Oh, so nervous. <laughs> so what is so cool about the highways in Korea you can see look at the two arrows they match up with the red lines on the road so you know that you're on the correct lane to turn uh, when you want to turn. There are so many tunnels here in Korea because 70% of the country is mountains. Service area. Service area. There's so many cars, people here. 
Right guys, so this is a service area. You can see it is it is quite busy. So and I got myself a corn dog. Mmm. Oh, there's Ooh, some cheese. That? It's mozzarella cheese. Look, I did find the sausage. It is just deeper inside. It's like half cheese, half sausage. Alright guys, so just an interesting fact. Um, most of the cars in Korea um, are automatic. So yeah, my brain is going a little bit uh, in overdrive today. Uh, it's coping with driving on the wrong side of the road. And also, uh, yeah, looking for the clutch the whole time. <laughs> Don't have a map for us anymore. Yes, neighbor doesn't have a map for us anymore. The English translations also also got lost. Our offline neighbor map just revived again. <laughs> we are 24 kilometers from our destination. We're getting really excited. Okay, so this is the bridge that cross over from the mainland to Wando Island. So the island is connected with this bridge. Oh, wow, yes. look at the water. Oh, you can't see, but the water is so blue. Let me see this side. Oh, you can't oh, see you can't that see side. That. On the left side, you can see. Oh, oh this is cool. Oh, you can't see the water now. Everyone, we made it to Wando Island. Yay, we made it in one piece. <laughs> in one piece. Uh, yo, so we drove four and a half hours. The GPS said three and a half, but there was a lot of traffic due to the Chuseok holidays. And um, yeah, let us just show you a little bit. So we haven't seen much yet. No, we just just arrived. There's the hotel. I found you, Nisha. This is our room for a three. It seems like there is meat in it, but there's more like the bean sprout. Now we're on our way to that tower over there. It's the Wando Tower and we're gonna walk. It's only like one kilometer from here. All right, so it's quite a steep climb up to the tower. Well, not a climb, it's just a walk. But uh, yeah, it's quite, quite high up. All right, so we're at the bottom of the stairs. Oh my goodness. There's a tower. I'm gonna start. No, okay. No. <laughs> wow. Well done. That's pretty. <laughs> That's cool. Well, even better the view. things that we will recommend you do when you visit Wando Island is definitely come and see the Wando Tower. It's really pretty at night. We're here in summertime and it's pretty hot so it's nice to do it at night time where the weather is a little bit cooler. Ooh. 